Welcome back to The Witcher 3 Wild Sun, part 23 I'm pretty sure we're on now guys. So, it has been a long, long time since I last made a Witcher 3 part, and since I last actually did a video, because I've been so busy recently. For The Witcher 3 it's been nearly two months, nearly, it's, it's getting close to two months, and it's very, very weird to me that it's been that long actually, now, now I think about it out loud, it's, it's kind of odd. But you know what? I'm fine. And you might be wondering, what are you doing here? You're, you're over in Novigrad now, there's no point being back here. And it's basically because I, I, I realized through a comment that I remember reading a long, long time ago now, like months ago, that I did forget something. Um, oh, this that was a complete accent. Uh, the, the, sorry, I was trying to do it, but um, just to see if I could. Oh, there's a ladder there. <laughs> okay. That I did actually forget something back in this area. So I just thought I'd come and have a look. But no, I, I'm back now. I'm going to be trying to do some more videos soon, like some actual lore videos and stuff like that. I was thinking of doing some cyberpunk stuff, as obviously that's coming out soon. I'd love to sort of get 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 videos out on that because it's, you know, it's it's CD Projekt Red and I love CD Projekt Red. So I'm pretty sure what I missed is back here. Um, I just repeat, I just remembered, uh, sorry, I just realized that I repeated get twice in a weird way. <laughs> it's fine. So... Basically, I just completely forgot to come here last time. I was no so distracted by Letho that I completely forgot this was an int a thing. So, you know, we'll just thought, I just thought I'd come and have a quick look, show you guys what I missed. Um, it's annoying that I missed it, but in all honesty, it's fine. It's, it's not It's not too bad. Uh, it's not nothing major. It's basically... I'll, sh I'll show you in a second. You'll see. I don't want to ruin it, you know? But I'm so glad to be back in this world. Recently, I've been like, oh, I, w I just want to get back to recording some Witcher 3, to be honest. I really want to go and record some of that. But I've been so busy that I just can't. But now I am completely free. I have got so much free time, and I am so happy because I can just I can just play The Witcher 3 to my heart's content, which is all I want to do, you know? <laughs> at least at least at the moment. Uh, sorry, wrong sign. So here we go. Boom. Skeleton so in, in the here. closet. Happens in the best families. A man. See soon. In his 30s, 40s maybe. A couple of pages missing. Torn out. Hm. The pages missing from the journal? Loose scraps and of paper. Thus I die in darkness of hunger and thirst. Gods have mercy. Damn. So that's literally what I missed, right? It's just, um, it's the, the brother, I think, of the, the woman who used to live here. I, I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure it is. It's been such a long time, guys. It's been such a long time. But you know what? As I said, glad to be back. I think we can go and talk to her again. What's her name again? Is it Mignol or something like that? Or is that is that um, the person that Vesemir meets or Vesemir met that we, that we then meet at the auction house? I don't know. I just want to check if she's already here because I know she does come back here at one point. Um, not sure. There's actually... Oh, here she is. There we go. Hello. Oh, it's Dolores. For what you did, I must thank you again. I promised you a reward. Do you remember? It remains in the barn, in the chest. I think we've already got it. Um, so that first. Got some hard news too, though. Found your brother's corpse bricked up in a wall. And this. So, Roderick, my husband. He killed him. Gods. Sorry. The truth can be cruel, but... Uh, one can't turn back time. I must find this spot. I must bid Humbert farewell. I thank you, again. Oh, so we, um... We can't now talk much to... Work. Much work. Okay, well, I'm glad I found the brother thing, at least. You know, that, that was something we missed, and we won 100% it, as I've been saying for ages. So I'm glad I was able to uh, come back and remedy that. Thank you to whoever said that I missed that. Genuinely, completely forgot. So uh, thank you very much. So the other thing I want to quickly do... Actually, one second, just let me check. I just want to check I was recording, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I completely forget. Um, I just want to go and check for the um, the place where the Sylvan was, because I think that will probably have updated too if she's updated. And it's so, so cool. Uh, where is it? It's around here, right? Oh, maybe it is where I was looking at before. Is it here? It might be here. Okay, I think it might be here, guys. Oh yeah, it's not actually a manor here, is it? It's like a, um, a camp. I saw you in Vizima. Oh, did you? I've got my coffee, guys. Just a little bit of a drink. I still remember how to play the game, though, you know? 
I mean, God, I'd be terrified if I completely forgot to play the game after a, a month or so. But you know what? I'm getting back into the swing of it. I'm feeling like a witcher on the path. I'm excited about Cyberpunk. And you know what? Hopefully it'll all be good. So I just wanted to check here. Because apparently... At least we, we were talking about this ages ago. The peasants, because I told them that they should go and have a look down there. Ooh. What? There's a mastercrafted saddle in there? No. Where was it again? It was around the side somewhere, right? I'm being a bit of an idiot here. So, there is some stuff here. So, it looks like since last time the peasants have bricked up where the Sylvan was. And I can't see any dead peasants, so maybe what I was told before was actually not correct. Maybe the Sylvan is just bricked up instead of, um... Instead of actually killed. I'm trying to find the bit now. But no, that's it's still pretty cool, though. I, I like coming back and just quickly checking what our decisions led to, and it looks like they bricked up where he was. That's quite cool. Okay, well, now we've finished with Take that little easy. um little detour, we'll head and do the roach thing um, in the partition camp. Okay, I'll, I'll just I'll will skip to when I'm as close as I possibly can be. Well, you know what I mean. Okay, the closest signpost I could get was near Oxenfurt. Well, literally at Oxenfurt, one of the gates. I think it's the um, Eastern Gate. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to um, I'm going to travel all the way to Roach, and it's going to be cool. You know, it's been a while since we saw Roach. Actually, now I think about it, it's been since the Witcher 2 in Flotsam. Oh no, no, we saw him at the camp, didn't we, with the Nilf Guardians, because he saved us in the Witcher 2 <laughs> after we were captured. Ah, oh, Roach. It's been such a long time since we saw Roach. How long has it actually been now I think about it? A long time. Oh, God damn it. Long, 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 long time. Looking forward to it, though. I mean, I mean, like, as in real world time since I last was at that bit. It's got to be months and months now. It'd probably be similar to how long it's been for Geralt, actually, in-game. I mean, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how long the Witcher 3 really... Roach. Uh, takes place over. Here we go. Oh. Hang on. We've got to go around the other way. <laughs> uh, sucks. Okay, here we go. Looking for Roach. No one here by that name. Anything else? What do you do here? Out of my way. <laughs> I see. And behind you, that's a berry picker's camp? We're, uh, bird watchers. Let me guess. That sword's in case you run into a hornbill. No. Hornbills aren't endemic to this area. Don't migrate here either. You will let me in now. Gotta admit, I'm amused. Now, why not? Gonna walk in the camp now. Aye. Naturally. And you're gonna go look for hornbills. Aye. I'm going, indeed. Right, well, thank you for letting me in. Completely legitimately. Oh, here we go. Geralt of Rivia. Safe and sound. Vernon Roach. Tamaria's last hope. Laugh all you want. Tamaria will rise again. Roach, I cannot abandon them. I you can and must, because those are your orders. They'll die, please. We're done. Dismissed. Care for around a Gwen? <laughs> yeah, 100%. You play Gwent, Roach? Yes, but there's no one to play against here. If you've got a deck, pull it out. Oh, okay. Let's do it. Good luck. I'm pretty sure I can remember the strap. It's been a long while, though. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Let's just go with that. God, guys, we're back with Gwent now. It's getting really nostalgic. Um, God, who's terrible? Those two are good. I guess could do better. 
those are all decent. It's all fine, honestly. Maybe that. Okay, look, we got Roach. We we can we can open with Roach on Roach. Go on then, Roach. Oh, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. We'll just stay one ahead, guys, remember? Um Okay. I see how it is, Roach. I see how it is. Boom. That's alright, guys. That is right. Oh, god damn it. This is kind of the worst. Hang on, we can do this. Oh, you I can't believe. He's he's scorched me back, guys. Hang on. I can actually um revive both of them. It's all about the first round. Boop. Oh my god. He's got Geralt and Siri. Sorry, I can do this. Boom. Jesus Christ, this is this is a high round, guys. Yes! Um, I can actually give him... There you go. Boom. That was actually a good first round. I'm going to be honest, I completely forgot that, um... <laughs> that, that you don't get to swap out cards. <laughs> Been a while. Okay. He hasn't even used his ability yet. Oh, crap. Okay. He may actually beat me. He's got the stupid Temerian strategy too. Okay. 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 He's going to have to have a bloody major card to beat me here. Oh. <laughs> a poor infantry. Ah, <laughs> oh, well we won, guys. You won. Congratulations. Here. You earned the card. Know anyone else worth playing? I've heard of a man came through Novigrad recently. You might be interested to know he's also a witcher. Lambert, they call him. Old Lambert's a card sharp? Interesting indeed. Then I have a mate who's come up from the south. He likes cards. A rather refined player. But it seems he's better at being late. Wouldn't wait if I were you. Okay. Well, we can't actually Gwent Lambert now, can we? Because he's now gone to, um, wherever. Ever in the Northern Kingdoms to search for the guys. So I guess we'll do this first. What do you do here? Hunt Scoyatel? You jest, right? Who cares about the Scoyatel anymore? Temeria. That's what matters. Okay. How'd you wind up here? How'd you wind up here? Came with the army, of course. It's remnants. When Nilfgaard crossed the Yoruga, I dropped everything. Threw it all away to hell and rode for the front to fight the invader. Joined the second Temerian army under John Natalis. We were to stop the Black One's advance along the dull Blathana Mount Carbon line. And we did. For three days. Then they smashed us into splinters. Soon after, I heard Radovid was assembling his forces near Novigrad. That he'd promised to fight for a free north. Broke through with the remains of Natalis's army, but... But? But Radovid proved no better than Amir. So I decided I would mount my own fight. Okay. I'm looking for Wiley, also known as Horson Jr. Looking for Horson Jr. I've heard of him, though I'm not sure why you think he might be in my camp. Heard some birds chirping. You've got some of the same friends. Both seem to count Radovid among your allies. These birds. They're terribly talkative. I'll need to see them. You'll have to point them out. Mm-hmm. 
Meantime, Vernon, willing to help or do I need to keep looking? Hmm. As always, you've more luck than you deserve. I'm on my way to meet my Redanian contact. We're meeting near Oxenfurt, at a chess club. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. Okay. Now, which well, that was a fun little thing. I love Roach's camp. It's so cool. Look at it. It's like, it kind of reminds me of, um, I don't know. It's, you know in Assassin's Creed Origins? I know this game came out before and all the rest, but they have a lot of bandit camps in those kind of gorges. It's quite cool. I like it. I don't know what the correct word is. It's kind of like a, an open cave. It probably has a name, you know what I mean? So these will be... Uh, sorry, these are all the remaining Temerians, I guess. We can't. They're all chatting about stuff. It is cool here, though. I don't think there's anyone we can buy things for. Um, buy things from, even. I, I guess we'll just leave. But no, it is cool here. I like it in there. Let's see. So we've got to go meet Roach by the bridge in Oxford. I guess we can just fast travel over to the bridge. We've probably been there before, right? Oh, there we go. Why not? We'll just go straight into that. We don't have anything else to uh, be heading to do. I'm actually interested if we can do the, the Lambert Gwen Old Pals thing. I, I might just quickly check. Oh, hang on. Oh, we can put a new um, mutagen in. Should we put, I guess, the uh, greater blue mutagens? Nice. Okay. I'm just going to quickly check because we have... Gwent old pals. Ah, yeah, Care Morns when we next see Lambert. It's a shame if we'd done it before we actually met him here, we I guess we could have Gwented him. Bit of a shame. Oh well. I guess we'll continue with uh Meet Junior. Sorry, get Junior. Hang on. It says we failed something there. Oh yeah, it's the, the casino thing. We couldn't literally finish that because they forced us to, to go to the top because they thought we were cheating. <laughs> because we won all the games. I guess we had to lose one of the games. Okay. Roach. My contact should be there. I kind of like the idea of waiting until nighttime for this one. It feels like more of a nighttime mission. You know what I mean? Yeah, perfect. Hopefully he's still Ready? there. <laughs> My contact awaits at the chess club. Let's get this over with. Who's this contact? Your contact. Who is it? Slippery little bugger. I'd have nothing to do with him, were the circumstances any different. You mean you don't trust him? I trust no one, including you. I mean, that's fair enough, considering what happened with the old Beth. Um, <laughs> we'll Come just on. go. Okay, Roach. Let's enter the chess club. Oh yeah, two adventurers entering a chess club. This is what The Witcher is all about, guys. In a world where Gwent exists, chess is a better game. I'm joking. I'd like to play chess in the Witch. That might be fun, actually. Something's not right. Let's see what. They say it's the game of kings. That chess teaches one to think strategically. What a load of rubbish. Both sides have identical pieces. The rules stay invariably the same. How does this mirror real life? Witcher. Do you know why I play chess? For practice, time killer for company. Uh, no idea. I guess we do have no idea. For company might be funny. I'll, I'll go with that. To spend time in good company? A king cherishes no one's company. Now I please sit down. <laughs> 
blood thumps inside these chessmen. You need only listen, and you will hear. Dub dub, dub dub, dub dub. A heart pumping with life. <laughs> I take a pawn, and I hear flesh being rent. I win a piece, and I hear screams from the depths of its bowels. I want to break the chessmen open, squeeze the truth from them. Do you see what I mean? He is like you know. I'm twelve, and this is DM chair. Um, do I do I see what he means? No, no, I don't actually. No, I don't. <laughs> you do not, because you are not a king. Pawns see only their comrades at their sides and their foes across the field. A king has a different view of the chessboard. His greatest foes surround him. His own chessmen might trap him. And that is check and death. You see, Witcher, chess is the art of sacrificing your own pieces. Now do you see? I actually do get it now. <laughs> He's basically saying, you know, when you're playing chess, right, you can actually box your king in and cause checkmate because of the way in which some of your pieces are held. So the art of it is to basically sacrifice your own pieces to get to their king. And I, I guess in a way defend yours, but a lot of the time the defense, yeah, is it, I get it. It's quite interesting. It's quite, it's good. I like that. Well done, round of it. I'll give you that. Not, not the weird thing about there being like beating hearts in them. That, that is insane. But the other thing I get it, you know, it's interesting. I think I do now. Unimportant. Let us speak. Why have you brought the Witcher here? I think he'd best explain. Looking for Horson Jr. Had no idea I was going to meet a king. Expected a Redanian spy. Had no idea we'd be meeting a king. When you have an opportunity to emit intermediaries, I'd suggest you avail yourself of it. Looking for Orson Jr. I'm looking for Cyprian Wiley, Orson Jr. I know Redania supports him. Why do you seek him? It's personal. Fair enough. I'll not pry. I have placed Junior in a mansion in Oxenfurt. Very few know this. They'll not let you in unannounced. Thus, you must tell them you've come about the new whores. Junior constantly requests fresh women. I hear he doesn't treat them well. Why would you just give me Horson? Appreciate the gesture. Yeah, we'll say that. <laughs> you just give me a man? After investing coin and time in him? Can't help but wonder why. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. Almost. I'll expect you to return the favor. And also, Junior has lost his purpose. The Big Four is no more. I shall contact you to collect in due course. Now go. And you, Roach. We must speak another time. Radovid's sinking ever deeper into madness, as I see it. I know where to find Junior. Don't really care beyond that. Geralt, come to think of it, I too wanted to ask a favor. I have a terrible problem with Vess. Need someone to talk some sense into her. Come see me at the camp. I'll tell you more. Let me think about it. See you, Roach. Okay, well we finally met Radovid again. It's actually kind of cool because if you think about it, Radovid has been in every single game, which is quite, you know, it's quite, it's quite cool if you think about it. I, I quite like that, you know. I, I'll set it to daytime because I'm not sure if it'll be bit ratey or not because it does happen sometimes. But I do like the fact that, you know, we met him in The Witcher 1 when he was helping the Salamandra. Technically through a mirror, I guess. No, then we did actually meet him in real life. Uh, well, re real life as in in the game real life. Jesus Christ, that is loud. I'll, I'll, tr I'll try and um, skip all that crap. But, you know, I think it's cool that we get to meet Radovid again. I'm not sure entirely what to do now because there is a lot we can actually do. I feel like the most logical thing to do would be to go and get Horson Jr. Because, you know, it's... it's Screw you, dude. So it'd be kind of like... 
If you're Geralt and you've just found out where Holson Jr. is, you kind of would just want to go and do that straight away, right? And considering how close we are, Geralt would just run straight there. I feel like we wouldn't go and help out Roach and then do all the Triss stuff. We've got to do this first. So I'm going to do the Holson Jr. thing first. I would have preferred to wait till later on, just because I like to sort of do things, you know, I, I like to kind of do quests in tandem, if that makes sense. But I feel like it would make sense just to finish this now, if you know what I mean. Like, like it doesn't make sense to, to go and do other things, at least from like a an R P point of view, if you know what I mean. No bread, no so we'll, we'll go and get Holson Jr. now. I think we may even be able to um to to use our our sign to get through. I'm not sure though. Okay. What do you want? Where's Horson Jr.? Oh, this one's got bollocks, don't he? I know you, you motherfucker. Saw you kill old guard and Vic. Misunderstanding. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> Uh, must be a misunderstanding. Flank the bastard! <laughs> well, Geralt, I've got to be honest, you could have done that a bit smoother. Yeah, guys, see, muscle memory, I know. Quinn, and then straight up into, um, Igni. Jesus Christ, this game is loud, actually. Hang on. My nose is so itchy. Nice! Alright, well, we got a key. That's good enough. We got another key, why not? I'm actually, um, I'm actually wanting to restore a bit of health, I think. I actually got hit quite a lot just then. Okay. Welcome. I, I may, I may actually have to turn this down just a little bit. Hopefully that won't mess with everything too much. Just because that is actually so loud for me. Like the fire noise. I'm not, I don't think it'll be too major, the difference. i tell you what I could do, actually, because I think the volume of, like, the dialogue is fine. I could turn down the effects volume a little bit. Just because it might be a bit loud. That is way too quiet. Sorry, <laughs> I'm ruining the moment a bit. Um, 88? 88 might be fine, right? No! Yeah, that's fine. I think effects down to that is fine. It, it was feeling a bit loud, actually. See, that's now that's not too overwhelming. Come on, then. Okay. You know what, guys? We're getting back into the swing of being a witcher. If there was, like, I don't know, like an online version of this game where you can fight people, I reckon I'd be okay at it. You know, I feel like out of all the video games I play, I'm best at the Witcher's combat. And a lot of people say, oh, well, the Witcher's easy. What, what about Dark Souls? And I'm like, you know what? Screw you, dude. <laughs> but there's a lot of people that say, you know, games like God of War and the Witcher, you kind of, you watch them, you don't play them. And that's why a lot of people, you know, think games like World of Warcraft are like the best ever. But I would say that that isn't true at all. Like, I'm literally playing the game right now. I'm having to fight people, I'm having to use mechanics, I'm having to switch between signs to do things. You know, it is a game that you have to play. Just because the game has a good story doesn't necessarily make it bad, gameplay-wise. I think the gameplay of this game plays really well. I think it makes you feel like a witcher, the AI aren't complete morons about everything. They actually defend themselves here and there. You know, they act like real people a lot of the time. I mean, I know those guys are doing the exact same animation, but, you know, give, give them a break. Yeah, and I, I, you know, I feel like there is definitely a thing to the game. I mean, with any game, if you get good at the combat, the AI is going to be easy, right? Like, when you first play this game, you're going to find the combat pretty hard. You, you might not be able to do things. I know there's a lot of people that have played the game who um, who struggle with it, and they decide not to play it anymore. Uh, you, have, you have to sort of get into it, though. And, and on Deathmatch, it's one of those things that, I guess, maybe going straight in on Deathmatch is not the best idea if you've never played The Witcher before. Um... Also, personally, I'd say, like, a controller's good. I don't really know what I'm talking about, but I, I, I'm sort of basically just saying that I really like The Witcher. I think it's a great game, and I think it's weird that some people complain because it has too many cinematics in it. Like, like that seems to be a complaint I hear a lot. Like, you, you sort of watch the game as opposed to play it. But look at me now. I'm, I'm picking up stuff. I'm having to craft. There's all these different systems. I think it's kind of dumb to say that, to be honest, and just sort of, you know, elitist. But no, I, I think, I love this game. I think it's great. I, I, th I think it's, honestly, it's probably the best game I've ever played. And that's why I'm looking forward to Cyberpunk so much. Because if it's the same as The Witcher and the way in which it lays out itself, maybe enhanced in, you know, the fact that technology is enhanced, but also set kind of in a futuristic environment, I think it could be really, really fun. 
And I think it will be probably uh, maybe even more popular than The Witcher. Who knows? And I'm, I'm looking forward to just being able to get into all the games CD Projekt Red make. They're, they're like the game dev that I just, you know, I, I look, anything they're making, I'm just like having a look at it. I haven't actually watched the Cyberpunk trailer yet because I wanted to watch it on stream so you guys could get my first reaction. But I know Keanu Reeves is um, in it because he presented the thing. But I purposely didn't watch it because I didn't want to ruin that, uh, that first experience, you know? To surrender. Okay. Look at all these guys. You ready? Ready? Oh. I don't know why I pick up the mugs. Um, yeah, we'll just take that for later. Um, I, I honestly don't know why. I, it's it's kind of like a reaction. Anything that isn't a weapon pick up, it, it probably is useful, but it's not. <laughs> I'm going to have to blur here now I think about it. I'm so glad to be back in this world, guys. I'm looking forward so much to getting to Tucson and stuff like that. Obviously, I'm enjoying the game, not even in Tucson yet and all, and, you know, any of the Hearts of Stone things. But... It's, I don't know. I'm just, I'm enjoying it. I love The Witcher so much. It's so fun. I want to have a look around for things, you know. There's like a full-on cave down here. This feels very reminiscent of The Witcher 1. Like, like I don't know, like the underground thing with caves and all the rest. There's actually a proper full-on thing down there. Maybe we can find a key later on and explore. Okay, well, I don't think there's anything else down here, right? It just it just seemed like that, that wall. Okay. Let's head back up. I just, you know, I like experiencing this with you guys. I love reading the comments. I like seeing what you think. I like you guys, like, revealing things to me that I've never noticed in the game before. Um, I think that's really, really fun because, obviously, the game is so expansive and massive. I've done a lot of videos on that recently. And I think just, just by hearing what you guys have noticed and I haven't, it kind of just... It just makes me more sort of sure that it's amazing, you know what I mean? But anyway, let, let's blur. Uh, wait, don't need to blur that. Yep, he 100% touched Siri, he'll pay. Yep, I... Yep, 100% Geralt, I agree with you on that one, mate. I, I guess I have to examine this. Nailed it to the wall. Jesus Christ, that's so bad. Oh. No, not one minute, Horson, mate. I'm, I'm checking the rest of your house first. Um... Okay. Sup. This have to be blurred. Sandwich fuck is this? No, oh, fuck me. Help me for fuck's sake. No one's coming. Um, oh, must have knocked my mouse. One second, just quickly. Yeah. Okay. What do we want? I'm here to kill you. I've come to talk. You know what? We gotta we gotta be mediated despite all the horrible things he's done. We do need to find information out about Siri, so we'll just be calm. Hello, Junior. I've come to talk. I'll do whatever you want. Got a few questions to start with. I'll, I'll tell you everything. I'm looking for a young woman and a minstrel. I know you've met them. A bird? What fucking... Ashen-haired with a sword on her back? 
just like me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was... Uh, I, I, I remember. God, the bloody body behind us just waving. That was absolutely horrible. I mean, Jesus Christ, it, it does kind of hit you if you think about it. He's killed, like, f so many people, and he's just sat in a hot tub with it. This guy is insane, not just, like, sadistic. It kind of reminds me of American Psycho. You know what I mean? Okay. Pay attention now. You'll tell the truth. Want to know why? I won't lie. Honest. Took me a long time to find you. Wasn't an easy road to travel. I'm angry and tired. Had to kill a lot of people along the way. Some of them tried to cheat me. Some tried to lie. I didn't like it one bit. I feel like one more lie'd be the last bitter drop in a chalice full of sorrow. And then... Then I'd do something I would later regret. Now you know why you can't lie to me? Yes. Good. Tell me about her. I'd like to know how the ashen-haired woman ended up meeting you, and what happened to her. What happened to her? She attacked me! Lie one more time, and I'll cut your balls off. <laughs> We'd made a deal. I was to repair their magic filler, what's it? That girl and the songster were to bring me Siggy Reuven's treasure. They didn't, so I might have flown off the handle a bit, I admit. What did you do? I nabbed their flunky, Dodo, and waited for them to come for him. Look, this. Here's what they wanted fixed. A phylactery? You can fix something like this? Not me. I know a guy. Wasting my time, Junior. I need details. I'll tell you, tell you all. Just the way it happened. Got a bad feeling about this. Calm down, Dandelion. You can't leave Doodoo in Horse and Junior's hands, you know that. I know, I know, but my gut can't be reasoned with, and no amount of sympathy I feel can silence it, blot it out. I'll go alone. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'll go in alone, you know? We'll manage this, I'm sure. Pull yourself together. Jesus, no, I, I will say this, it's fine. I'll go in alone, you know? You'll stay outside. I can't let you go alone. Anything happens to you, Daryl will rip my head off. Someone must secure our retreat. There's bound to be a struggle. Things could get intense. We'll need to flee fast. Disappear in the crowd. Have you learned where Horson is keeping Dudu? Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. I'll need to cross onto the roof. Wait for me in front of Junior's house. And I know it's difficult, but do try to look inconspicuous. If they... If they hurt you, Horson will pay. I must climb onto the roof. Okay. Playing a Siri again. Been a while. How is it, Siri? Yep. You you're looking good and everything. So's Dandelion, of course. Been a while too. Let's let's head up. How long has it been since I last played the Siri? I know I keep on bringing this up as if it's like this nostalgic thing, but for me it kind of is. It's been such a long time since I've even played a video game properly, like a, a proper story video game with all these cool mechanics and stuff. I'm so happy to be doing this. I literally, I finished doing what I've been in the middle of doing uh, for a few months today. And I'm able just to play this game, sit down, just enjoy it, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it so much. One with the balcony. Okay, let's have a look. Room on the top floor, one with the balcony. I honestly can't even... Oh, I guess I can just follow the uh, the marker. Right. Okay. Should we jump down? There's the balcony. Boom. Let's see what's inside. Right, we're going to charge through. We're going to charge through. Ready? Oh, fuck's sake. Okay. <laughs> we can't charge through. Did I jump on the wrong balcony? Oh, no, no. The window. Okay. And now, my dear Dodo... I believe I'll try a different tool. Afraid I'm bored with this one. You'll fucking bar me, Junior! Anyone tell you that? No. Most say I'm nice. Once they get to know me. 
So you enjoy good company? Like to make new acquaintances? <laughs> you plan to introduce me to someone interesting? There you are. Good of you to come. I've been waiting for you. Ah. Oh. The classic sword not coming out of hilt glitch. Where's Ruvin's treasure? Oh. Weird. I, I, I was, I was going to put on um, Quen. <laughs> I'm just so used to it. I guess scabbard, not hilt. Sword coming, not, not coming out of scabbard. I got you. The hell did you just say to me? Where's Ruvin's treasure? Say that again, huh? That's all right. Bullshit main character powers. Got it. An eye for an eye. They're coming. Dudu, listen. This is what we'll do. Actual horse and what where did the guy go? Oh nice! I love playing a Siri. She feels like almost a thousand times easier to play than Geralt. Like like li li like honestly, it's it's that is that different. Hang on. Oh my god, guys, come on, that was incredible, right? I'm sorry, I'm, I, I just love it. It's such a cool ability. It'd be kind of cool if Geralt could do it, but I guess it would kind of ruin the lore a bit. <laughs> cool, though. Hang on. What's up, guys? Oh, oh, Jesus. Hang on. Right, we got to try and... I don't think we can do that ability because we're pretty low health. Why are they saying an eye for an eye? Right. Well, that was pretty good. I think all things considered, we just did pretty well. Okay, let's leave. No, we need to RP walk out, you know? Nice. <laughs> That's what happened. Told you true. Doodoo. What happened to him? Doodoo. Exactly. What happened to him? I don't fucking know. Prick vanished. There one moment, gone the next. What happened to the ashen haired woman? What happened to the woman? Fuck if I know. One of the boys got her in the back, but she's alive, I swear it. Is that all? Got anything else to say? I've told you all I know. Everything. You hurt the woman I'm looking for. You tortured her friend. She attacked me. I have a right to defend myself. I beg you. Got what I deserved. Have mercy, please. So I know, so, well, I know exactly what happens if I let him live, right? I know exactly what happens because I've, I've played the game before. But I kind of don't want to let him live, which I know sounds bad. But if you take into account everything with Siri, which I'll, you know, would obviously anger Geralt. I mean, there's literally a body hanging behind Geralt based on what this guy's done. I, I don't think Geralt would let him live. Like, I think it's just the greater good. Having a guy like this around is not a good idea. I mean, obviously, if you let him live, we know what happens. It's actually bad for him, ultimately. But I think that in this case, I think Geralt would actually kill him, which I know sounds, you know, I I'm going to do it. And I know it's I know it's bad, but 
I feel like for Geralt, he just would do this. It's 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 a choice. It's like Geralt kills monsters that do less than him. So let's, I'm just going to do it, you know? Let me tell you where things stand. I'm looking for this woman because she's like a daughter to me. And that's why I just can't let this go. No, no. Right, okay, turn around. Can I search this room quickly? I don't want to look at anything. I just... Oh, Jesus Christ. I just want to get out of this place. Uh, I don't want to... Found a note. Hang on. What, what was the note we found? Oh, Jesus Christ. This place is just the worst. Okay, so we've got quite a few quests uh, on the go here. Okay, well, we're finishing quite a lot of quests, actually. Did... How do we open the, um, the gate underneath his house? Okay. Advice to my fellow tradesmen, never take on a phylactery repair job. Unless, that is, you don't mind sleepless nights. Don't be fooled by the internal contraptions, uncomplicated appearance. I've been struggling with this blasted phylactery for two weeks now. I've used every tool I own, every trick I ever learned, and I am no pink-cheeked novice. Having practiced this trade for a good 30 years, I will try applying a concentration of chestnut, but I have little hope it will do anything. Okay. Awesome. Is there a key I can use to get into the thing under Horson's house? I'm actually going to quickly check. Okay, I'm pretty sure that the entrance is just literally like like a cool thing that's there. I'm not sure if it's actually that useful. It might come up later in the game, but I'm still unsure. But you know what? We've dealt with that now. We, um, we have some other quests to do. We have... We basically... We could have gone and talked to Priscilla about all that crap to do with what we found out, but we don't really need to. And now it's just moved straight onto here, which is to tell Priscilla what we've learned about Dudu on top of all the other things, I'm pretty sure. So, I'm not sure who the other guy that Roach was, that Roach said we should talk to about Gwent. Um, he said there's a guy from the south, right? So maybe you guys can give me a shout about that next time. But we do also have a matter of life and death and an eye for an eye. So... I think it'd be good to maybe do an eye for an eye, but I kind of feel like maybe that can wait till next time. Or maybe, I feel like maybe we should do a matter of life and death, just get that quest out of the way. You know what I mean? Or, if there's a lot of quests here. There is a lot of quests here. Maybe we should just straight up do that one, because it is still level 11, these are level 12. You know what, we'll, we'll go and see Priscilla first, just because it is level 11 and we're level 12. And you know what, we've got to go back to Novigrad anyway for all these, oh, okay. Seems you've resolved your matters. It's time you return the favor. Radovid doesn't like to wait much, does he? No, he does not. You'll come with us. The HMS Oxenfurt Tretagor. Once the crown jewel of the Redanian fleet. Decommissioned now, though. Nice boat. You'll need to leave your weapons if I'm to let you aboard. Follow me. Hang on. I kind of want to set it to daytime just so Ship I can see everything. was funded with donations from noble women. Ladies from the most prominent families gave up their jewelry. A spur of the moment patriotic impulse. You're a homeless wanderer. Can't understand what it is to truly love one's country. I love Kermon. Okay. Geralt's a good Kedwenny. <laughs> Doesn't really exist anymore though. There you are. Need something from me, your majesty? You've never been one to mince words. Very well. Find Philippa Eilhart. That's my wish. I ordered her eyes gouged out once. But apparently her blindness troubles her not. My hunters have detected Lady Eilhart hiding east of Oxenfurt. They have further established that she has magically sealed the entrance to her shelter. Entering it will be difficult. I believe you might succeed in doing so. Bring her to me. Alive. Let me think about it. Why is Philippa here? Well, let's think. Last time we saw Philippa, it's when she tricked Mini Orveth, which kind of sucked. And we actually did see Radovid gouge out her eyes, or we were at least sort of present when that happened. 
Um, that's actually the last time I guess we properly saw Radovid as Geralt. The other time we saw him, I guess, was at the big council they were having at Lochmuin or the summit. And then we did see him later on when he was leaving Lochmuin. But I don't know. Right. We'll ask why Philip is here Philip first. Heilhardt. What's she looking for here? I suspect she wants to find her old friends. Reconvene the lodge. Perhaps she seeks revenge on me. Lady Eilhart is known for her persistence. At times I recall the lessons she gave me when I was a child. Her teachings as memorable as the punishment she meted out. She was subtle and patient in her cruelty. I took her sight, but she remains dangerous. I'd advise you to be cautious. Let me think about it. Uh, mages are more likely to succeed. I could say this and just see what he thinks. Philip is using magic. You'd be better off sending mages after her. <laughs> I cannot count on their aid. We parted ways after the events at Loch Muin. Parted ways? You gathered them in one place, then gave the order to murder them. You ignore the context. They'd assembled to revive the Conclave. The very same they had once dismantled. I was open to the prospect. The other rule is likewise. Until a certain Witcher revealed that the Lodge was behind the Regicides. The mages proved to be traitors. While the Witcher proved himself skilled at tracking traitors down. Now go to the mountains and bring me Philippa Eilhart. Technically, it was Letho that revealed it, I Long guess. Live, um, okay. Can I come up here with Rad? No, okay. Well, we may as well have a little look around the ship, you know, see what's going on. A little, little curious or queerus. You'll choke to death on three pounds of steel. Nice. Ramen I'm just looking for all the stuff we might be able to get here, you know. We've got some dwarven spirits. Oh, guys, I, I'm just, I'm so happy to be back in this world. <laughs> it's so fun. I, I'm happy, I just, I love it. I absolutely love it. I, I can't think of many things that I, I love more than this game. Apart from, you know, a lot of things. But you get what I mean. Like, video game-wise, no games. I, I, you know, I don't know. I really, I do like The Witcher. I think it's, it's, it's like a really good thing. It's like having a pee. Nah, we'll leave him to it. Honor in the fatherland. Zod off before I lose me. Oh, I just want to leave. Your arms. Thanks. Never seen better steel in my life. Blade must strike true, no? It's a matter of the hand, not the steel it's holding. But yeah, they're pretty good. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Hang on. Okay, not doing that again. Um, let's see. So, we've done... The, well, we've we've got a quest from Radovid. We've got loads of quests now. So we've got following the thread, an eye for an eye, Redania's most wanted. They're all level 12. We'll do the level 11 quest first. Which is to go and have a chat with Priscilla about what's happened with Dudu. Just cause. Look, look, look. What? Okay. Anyway. Well, that was nice. I mean, I honestly completely forgot that the Radovid thing triggers straight after Horse and Junior's thing, but as soon as it happened, I thought, oh god, yeah, I remember this. I I'm so. I, I just. I like being able to play this game after so long because it just surprises me. I mean, obviously, it's like an instant sort of oh, but it is still the initial surprise of oh yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, I should have just gone to the bloody other signpost. Oh well, we're on the way now. I actually wanted to check, how close are we- is it level 17 that we can use the cat armor? Because I think we're actually very, very close to that, right? Let's have a look. Feline boots, yeah, level 17. Then we can start making all the cat stuff and wear the um, the sneaky cat things for uh, when we're in Novigrad. I mean, I'm not sure how much is actually left of Novigrad. I guess it is quite a lot. Maybe we'll level up after the um, Priscilla quest. It's very possible. Okay. Oh, there's a there's a quest over there for us to do. Oh, it's the races at the Vagabond Estates. Uh, take heed, one and all citizens of Free City of Novigrad and foreigners alike. The venerable Vagelwood family has the honor of inviting you to the annual Great Era Erasmus Vagelwood Memorial Derby. Uh, we welcomed both spectators and contestants wishing to take part in the races. As it is every year, the derby will be held in the grounds of the Vagelwood's residence. Seek out the master of races with and any or questions, whatever. Awesome. Oh, that's, that's quite cool. So I guess we're going to do that as well. 
Um, we'll check what level it is, because if it's like higher than all the other stuff, then we may as well do it a little bit later on. But I reckon I could just do it. Hang on, where is it? Racer. Oh, it's not really a level thing. We'll do the Priscilla thing first, because we're here now. I could actually check... No, I was going to say I could check the signboard, but it looks like it's... Um, I know I already checked it, but sometimes they refill with random things, right? As stuff progresses, like the Vagelbud thing, for example. Hey, guys. Oh, it's been a while since I've been in Novigrad properly. Damn. Okay. Oh, yeah, Priscilla's in here, isn't she? She's in her, her room at the top. Ah! Sorry, guys, I'm just coming through, you know. You seek to get Another drunk, drifter in from Tamir. seeking to get you drunk, madame. We would not be drinking Cote de Blessure. Oh, smooth. Oh, it's that guy again? Hello. I bid you a cool farewell. Thank you. Thank you for the cool farewell. Okay, Priscilla. Think I know how to free Dandelion. Got a plan, but we need Dudu. Got to find him. This plan? What is it? Our Doppler friend will assume Menga's form. Order Dandelion move to Oxenfurt. We can grab him on the way. Brilliant. But how do you aim to find Dudu? You're his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With the Doppler, the question's never where, but as whom? In the past, facing trouble, he'd disappear, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time... This time he hasn't returned. We gotta convince Dudu to come out of hiding. How long have you known Dudu? Known Dudu long. I know this might sound strange, but I can't be sure. It seems he'd been circling me for some time in various forms, trying to attract my attention. Can't blame him for making the effort. Thank you. I failed to notice him at first. Then he decided to shoot the moon, assume Dandelion's form. What tipped you off? How do you know it wasn't Dandelion? Dudu not much of a singer. No. He simply spoke about something other than himself. We need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with, someone he trusts. Dandelion? Irina Reynolds' troop, that's all really. Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. So he liked going to the mummings? Yes, I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. He certainly could have counted on the Foxen's help. Hmm. So if these mummers are ready to help... We need only mention Dudu. Irina and company are deeply indebted to him. Um, Dudu and the mummers, what's the link? Dudu and the mummers, how they meet. That was my doing. Some opening night. Maxim lay comatose in his wardrobe, drunk as a notter. I thought of Dudu. Hard to imagine a better actor than a Doppler. And Dudu revealed himself to them just like that? I didn't think it wise to tell anyone. But Dudu and Irina took to each other completely and right away. He fell so hopelessly in love with the theatre. That he started performing with you? Yeah. Now Irina feels terribly guilty. They let him put himself in danger. She can't forgive herself. Maybe a play's the thing, you know? Maybe we could use a play. You know, work a message to Dudu into something. Lure him out of hiding that way. Not a bad idea. But I doubt a few lines would suffice. Besides, do you really think Dudu whiles away his days attending mummings he knows by heart? So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play. From scratch. Something grand. Something that will grab Dudu's attention. So most importantly, it must have a splendid title. It must be the talk of the town. If you wish, we can start on it right away. Um... Don't know that I can write a play. <laughs> Not sure I'm cut out to write a play. Maybe you're better off doing this on your own. It's sure to go quicker if you help me. You'll see. We'll have a grand time together. Sure. Why not? All right. Guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Actually, I was hoping... The key is to convince Dudu that he can rely on you. And that we wish to free Dandelion. The message must be clear though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence, meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? More or less. <laughs> Not entirely. Yep, all clear. <laughs> Geralt 100% understands all of this, so yeah, 100%. Yeah, all clear. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Povis. I know. 
Lorenzo Molla. A tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit, and the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide, and can only count on the help of his friend, who's a witcher, who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No, better. His beloved. Hmm. What do you think? Sounds good. Sounds great. Really think so? Lorenzo Moller. Yeah. Hmm. Or perhaps not. Wait, I've got it. We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlenwald. Secret lovers, their betrothal, a curse, a cruel queen, bell sounding midnight. But... At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Pulvetta. They want him dead, but at that instant a witcher steps in. And everything ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You wish to say something? That's that's the story of... <laughs> okay. Will I get a say in any of this, or have you decided everything already? Why are you cross? It's the nature of the creative process. We toss around ideas and choose the best ones. Meaning yours. Well, you must admit I'm better acquainted with the theatre. Naturally, you'll play a part in shaping this play. Contribute to the work as a whole. Dandelion will explain how it works later. She, she is the the female equivalent of Dandelion. They, they are perfect for each other. Okay, we need a good title. We need a good title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I have some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? Of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. I have two really good ones. The Doppler's Salvation and A Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph. Which do you prefer? Uh, Doppler Salvation. It sounds way more sort of um, short and snappy, you know? Let's go with the Doppler Salvation. It's shorter, catchier. Just one problem. No Dopplers in that story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simpler. We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. A witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? Hmm, alright. So it's a comedy. I was thinking more along dramatic lines. But if you prefer something lighter... Listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. A drama or a comedy? Um, a drama might be more interesting, you know? Like a bit more sort of dramatic and... You know, Geralt, Geralt might get some comedy out of that if I mess up the lines. Why not? <laughs> mm, you're right. A drama'd be better. Very well. I must get to work. While you must... Pick a corner, sit down, read silently, or just think, all right? Fine, since you don't need help with the writing. Geralt, wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, did Itcher? Ugh, just keep quiet. I think that was perfect, girl. <sighs> Done. I could make a small masterpiece of this had I a bit more time, but... We're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you weave in? Hidden message? You were gonna work something in, like come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or... That wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all! You wrote it to contact Dudu. That was the purpose. Fine. So how do you see this working? I don't know. I was counting on recognizing him by his scar. Or just improvising? Shall we worry about that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Sure you know where to find her? The troupe performs in the butcher's yard off the main square. Join us later. See ya. Ho! Oh, level 17. Lovely. That was good. That was good. Priscilla, good good playwriting. Have fun. Oh my god. That, that, was, that, that, was, that was a long old little um, thing. So we have the whole play. Witcher, to slay beast must foul. Nice. T Twas for this I was made. I killed my calling. Blah 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 blah. Okay, they're all the lines we have to learn. Oh well, we've got them. We we understand them. Having the same conversation. Okay. I want to go and make the armor, but obviously I've got to wait till day. I'm gonna make the cat armor, guys. It's gonna be good. I think I've got all of it right. Um, if not, I can make as much as I can, I guess. I'll keep the griffin armor on me, as I, I like to kind of keep that one, just in case. Um, it's down here somewhere, right? It is down there, I think. 
I don't know. We'll have a look. I think it is down there. I just have to try and remember where the um the, the armor smith is. Is it down here? Oh no, that's the play. Hang on. I need to try and work out where the where the armor bit is. Is it it might be down here somewhere, potentially. I'll give it a go. I'm not entirely sure. I know it's like on the way up from one of the gates. I, I don't really come here to make armor often. I normally go to like Velen, uh, you know, the Crow's Birch. I think it is around here, right? Hang on. Can I get up the rock, do you think? Please. Oh, thank God. Okay. Nice. We parkoured our way up. I just have to try and work out where you um where you get armor made. I can't remember the. Oh, it's across here. I think actually, it's across here and to the right. I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. I think it is over here. I just couldn't work out where it was. Is it down here? I think it is. Right? Yeah. 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 Over there. Nice. Okay. Armorsmith? Need some? No. We need you to craft like me something. Right. Okay. This is what we need, guys. Okay. Oh, can he only make weapons? I guess we may as well make the swords, right? Viper sword? We need to get the um, feline swords. We don't have them yet, apparently. We only have the enhanced ones. Hang on. So, where's the actual armorsmith here? I can't remember. I might just have to go to Velen or something. Oh, God damn it! Quests, treasure hunts. It's the cat stuff, right? We don't want the upgrade. We just want the basic cat school gear. So we have to explore the, the ruins of. Right. We'll go and get the rest of the cat stuff because I do want to make that. Um, and you know, then we'll head from there to like Venla or something, because I'm not sure where the armorsmith is here. I know that there is one, I'm pretty sure. I just can't remember where he is in Novigrad. It's fine. But we have to fast travel anyway to go somewhere else. Where is it? How far away is it? Oh, it's only over there. So we have to explore the ruins of Iced Iced Tree Tier. Iced Iced Tier. I don't know. I like the idea of exploring a little bit though. It's been a while. Just yeah. what our band of merry men. Exactly. Who doesn't need a witcher? Okay, we're going to explore the ruins. I'm recording for like an hour and 15 minutes. I'm going to record for a bit longer though. I, I want to I wanna get a lot of this done today because I think it'll be fun. I'm also enjoying it, you know. I feel like I'm I'm back in the witcher world. I'm experiencing it, you know. I'm in, I'm in the forests. It's actually it, weird if you think about it because you don't realize that... Um, you're in the forests and stuff a lot of the time. It's just going from place to place. But if you look around, you see all the little details and the environment and things. Oh, is this not where I need to come for Philippa? Oh, I guess I may as well do the Philippa quest while I'm here. Am I wrong? Is this? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we may as well do this quest now we're here. Uh... Yeah, why not? Let's have a look. Secondary quests. Not that. It's not that one. It's that one. Okay. Chest completely crushed. Ribs must have pierced the lungs. We'll deal with the witches, then we'll come for you. Don't you worry. Oh, flesh charred to the bone in places. Actually, you know, I was just thinking about it. We we can't do the Triss quests until we've got the second fe figure, which is a bit later on. So we'll leave that for now. I guess we'll talk to these guys. Having trouble? Nothing fucking but. One plowing trouble after the other. But what's it to you? Who are you? Geralt of Rivia. A witcher. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Oh, it's pretty dead on. <laughs> Radovid sent me. No, oh, it's you. I've been waiting for you. You sound enthused. What have you learned so far? Word was you hadn't been able to get inside. Till yesterday, when we found this. 
Doesn't look like much, but he's got power of some sort. Opens the entrance. Good work. Give me that. Good work. Saved me some time. We're thrilled. How do you know Philippa is down there? Anything else I should know? We'll ask both. Think Philippa's still inside? That we don't know. Only certain thing is she was there at some point. Certain? How's that? We've been after her since Loch Muin. Poking out her eyes weren't enough. Radovid should have gutted her there and then. As it is, she turned into an owl and fled. Flew across Kedwin and Redania. Then tucked herself away here. Okay. Well, we, we know that. <laughs> what can I expect to find inside? Everything. Anything. It's an old elven temple. The witch Isleheart turned into her hideout. Look at him. Fell into some magic trap. Then monsters attacked him. Barely got out alive. Any of your men still down there? A dozen or so went in. They's all that came out. Rest are probably dead. Right. Well, anyway, thank you for the help. Time I saw if Philip is still in there. Don't count on anyone going in to retrieve your corpse. Fine. What See how it is. Oh, wait, hang on. There's something there. That oh, it's a torch. Not on your life. He is a witcher. Witcher or not, he'll be dead. So, where's the... Ah, I think the cat thing is in here, right? Yeah, we have one of them. Um, excavations to be carried out by Gottfried Oss, Michelle Sabrina Ruxer, and Marco Gedl Gedeld, under the supervision of Professor Sigismund Glogger. We have begun excavation work under the Aegis of the Oxenfurt Academy with some kind of sponsorship from Prince Adrian of the Sea Cats. Our goal is to find the legendary treasure of King Maelgor of Iced Tiar. Tiar? Um, eighth of Blathe, first day of excavations, or Blath, I guess. I'm deeply worried about the Witcher present among, among our company. I had a feeling about him at the very start during the first meeting at Castle Dr Drahim, or Drahim. Now as we trek dark underground, now as we trek dark underground caverns, his presence gives me shivers. Are we entirely sure his task is to protect our expedition? Furthermore, Castle Drahim, or Drahim, is too close to Oxenfurt for us to not have heard those unsettling rumours about Prince Adrian. Illegible fragment. Eleventh of Blathe, or Blav, whatever again. Third day of excavations. Kian, oh it's Kian, demanded we surrender all notes found in the ruins of the elven armory. I refused. 13th of Blade the Blath, 5th day of excavations. We pitched camp in a vast and dry cavern in the easterly portion of the complex. There are a few active portals here, and I'm afraid they are very likely unstable and undirectional. Oh, unidirectional. Um, 14th of Blade the Blath again, 6th day of excavations. The Witcher murdered Marco. He was deciphering one of the Price of and sketches when suddenly, as I watched it on a gas, the Witcher slit his throat, grabbed his. In Incunabulum, Incunabulum, I panicked and jumped into one of the portals. It deposited me in some chamber which has no exit. Unless an echo of the portal appears, I'm stuck here for good. I hope Michelle and Gottfried managed to escape. Remainder of the notes, difficult to decipher and no dates are indicated. I must conclude that the witch I had from the very start been operating on Prince Adrian's orders. I would not be surprised if they were toasting their scheme's success in Drahim Castle at this very moment. Blast it, perhaps I should have given those elven diagrams to Kian after all. What good are they to me here if I've rotten this crypt? I have finished the last drop of my water, there is nothing to eat, no echo from the portal has appeared. Gods, I don't believe in you, but if you do ex in fact exist, um, but if you do in fact exist, if you exist, um, save me. Okay. That's the portal, right? Just thought I'd check, you know. Well, we have the silver sword now. I guess we may as well finish the Philippa Hydot quest whilst we're here. Why not? Gotta be some mechanism ah. that opens this door. Missing one tile. Boom. Nice. Made it through anyway. Okay, just want to make sure I don't miss anything, you know. Perfect hideout. Oh, a magic cave. 
be a bit harder for me to move around. Can I actually use this? No. Okay. Right, let's go. Portals. Great. The chapter's probably messed with them. Works. Eight portals. Who would have thought my stomach turned? God, girl just said about a hundred things. Hang on. A remix. It's Edge Afraid. This is an owl feather. Ah. The plot thickens. Neckers. Oh, okay. I hate these things. I absolutely hate them. They're so loud. Even though I turned down the effects volume, they are so unbelievably loud. Oh, at least I lit the torch. I actually avoided hitting them then because they were so loud. Oh well, we're getting some monster ingredients. We probably need them for the um. Sorry, that was weird music. Uh, we'll probably leave them. Uh, need them for the cat stuff anyway. God, that noise! Okay. Hopefully, there is not Damn. too many more of them. Inactive. Maybe I can start it up. A power cell for portals. Feels dead. Maybe a sign will revive it. Igni? Odd. Should work now. Hey, it worked. Jump! Stay back! Not one step closer! She then before you hurt yourself. Wait, wait, wait. You, you, you that witcher the king was supposed to send? Guessed it. You should know by now how dangerous this place is. I'll wait up above with the others. Not a chance. Those cowards ran at the first whiff of monsters. I made a stiffer stuff. Besides, something big set to happen here. I just know it. I learn what it is. Radovid will appreciate it. King will promote me. Maybe even give me a medal. What do you think set to happen here? What's the big event that's supposed to happen? Uh, don't know the details, but I came across Philippa Eilhart's notes. Mentioned Ida Emian, Margarita Low and Teal, Francesca Frinderbear, and Frangela Vigo. As I see it, they aim to meet here. Philip is still here? Think Philip is still here? Can't really know. Sure, we searched a few caverns, but hidden nooks abound. If someone wanted to hide in here, they could easily. Even if they weren't an owl. I'll guide you out of here. Alright, let's get you out of here. Told you already, no chance. Besides, the teleport's power cell. I broke it off. We have to wait till they come for us. Got no choice. Nobody's gonna come for us. Give me the crystal, I'll get us out of here. But the monsters? I'll defend you. What if you can't? I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> Be a good little hunter and give me the crystal. I am a good little hunter. There you go. Thank you for being a good little hunter. Right, now we have the adventures of Geralt and a good little hunter. Everything is fine. Love letters. Dear Philippa, as I write this, I am sipping your favourite cocktail on the terrace of my father's Metna estate and wondering, what the devil are you thinking? I understand if you'd simply grown bored with me, I'd accept if I had turned out that the... Sorry, I'd accept it if it had turned out that the pair we made was not to your liking, or you had found yourself a younger, prettier model, but for the love of the bleeding gods, Dijkstra? That, with all due respect, pot-bellied swine, over me? I do not know if you've been testing my new concoctions that have addled your uh, mind, or if perhaps this is another of your games. Yet even if you must seek intimacy with that primitive for political, with that primitive for political reasons, I do not see why this should mean the end of our relationship. After all, it would not be the first time we would hide our love. Huh. Interesting. Philippa dumped some woman for Dijkstra. <laughs> Well, we know we know Philippa doesn't really like Dijkstra. <laughs> okay, are you coming with me, Witch Hunter? Hello. I'll just wait here. They'll come for me. Oh, okay. See ya. Why am I getting this marker here? Ah. Right. Now to activate it. That work? Nice. Oh. Yeah. 
Y'all ready for this? Oh, they're so unbelievably loud, I hate them. Right, you stay behind them. Uh. I'm just doing that, guys, because I don't like how loud they are. It's like destroying my ears. Okay. I might need to work out that. Maybe 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 I'll have to like artificially make the audio louder in the um the video for future reference, just because now that, that was unbelievable. Laboratory. Another oh. feather. Doubt Philippa had an aviary. These are signs of polymorphy. Hmm. Uh oh shite. Sorry, there's actually a whole thing down there. Can we activate the portal straight away? I guess we've got to go and find another, another crystal, right? Portal. Missing its power cell. Maybe the Neckers took a liking to it. Very possible, Geralt. I guess we'll, we'll ignite this when we come back. Okay. I guess we're going down there. Oh. Hmm. Tunnel. Wonder where it leads. We'll check for everything first. There's a, 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 an open bit there. Okay. What is this? You know what, guys? We kept the stomach the horrible noise. Okay, see? Quick and easy, dealt with, no more noise. Oh, that is actually horrible, though. Like That, that like, ruined my ears again. Power cell. Um, there's nothing else here, I'm pretty sure. There's, it doesn't look like there's anything else here. There's no, there's no yellow, shiny thing. There's, there's no anything. Okay. What's this? It's a dead witch hunter. Okay. Right, we'll head up. I think we've um, looked at everything. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have. Okay. We'll we'll have a we'll have a quick look. Um. We'll, we'll have a very quick look back down. No, not not on the bottom bit, just to the um, the right of here, just to see if there's anything we might have missed. Oh, it actually opens that previous portal, which is quite cool. Okay, ready? Boom. Gotta be the last level. Ah. Okay. We're we're in a bottom area now, I guess. There's a few a few pillars. I guess we can add them. Nice. <laughs> nice. There's not really much here. I, I just kind of want to... Oh, we can't jump down there. I just want to check if there's anything... Ah, there we go. See, guys? That's why you check. Oh! Oh, God! That was a horde? That was like a full-on horde of stuff. Okay. Well, I'm happy about that. There is a lot of dead people around here. I'm, I'm concerned. Lovely. Ifrit, isn't that a fire spirit or something? Oh, yeah. Gotta have a sentry. Of course. Can I axe him? That actually worked. Ow. Okay, this 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 is actually really bad. Hang on. Can I move this little uh that do anything? Oh it does! Ow! Oh my god, I'm just- I'm just dying as I'm trying to hit him. How would you do this without that Quen ability? I'm taking damage as I'm sitting here. My sword's breaking. Quick repair. <laughs> Hang on. We have to re Oh my god, there's so much stuff here. See him to get rid of the fire. Jesus Christ. I'll give it a go. 
that doesn't seem to do anything. Okay. I'm probably missing something obvious here, but you know what? Uh. Ow. Hang on. Ow. Thank God that is dealt with. Jesus Christ, that was the worst. Okay, can we loot him? Oh my god, that was horrible. It's like the thing that kills you even when you try and attack it. You, like, as in... Passively. Doesn't actually have to hit me. Okay, well, I, you know, I'm glad we did that, though. I, th I think that was pretty, pretty, pretty skilled. No, I'm joking. It was, it was fun, though. I had a cool time. You know? Death March Ifrit kill. Nice. I've done so much this part, you know? Oh. Dimeritium and glowing ore. Really couldn't ask for a better chest. Okay, well that's that's everything. Uh, I don't think there's much else down here. I guess after this we'll try and get the other bit of the cat gear. Maybe we'll stop after we've completed the cat gear, because we're, we're pretty close. We have to go through all these portals anyway. Oh, there is actually... Another feather. Doubt Philippa had an aviary. Oh, we know this girl. Signs of polymorphy. Okay. Bed, table, a few chairs. Modest, but a home nonetheless. So this is where Philippa was hiding. Is that owl droppings? Agates. Oh no, okay. And <laughs> okay. <wore> around her <laughs> neck. Except, why are these covered in blood? She either fought someone, or used them in her experiments. Very possible. Nothing there. Blood-stained surgical instruments. Philippa operated on someone here. Oh, damn. I just want to make sure we um, we get some of the books down, you know? Notes. Charred. Almost completely. Can't read a thing. Ugh. Oh. Well, we're finding out some key information about her here, Geralt. Found out she had some stones covered in blood. So there's a megascope, a actually. megascope. Scorched. Covered in soot. Maybe one of the crystals survived. Oh, okay. I, th I thought it was going to, like, find a crystal or something. Hmm. What's this? Aniseed and birch bark. Powerful disinfectant. Okay. Still have a few more things to look at, apparently. Oh, there's something over there. Might be the crystal. Crystal from a megascope. Nice! Heavily chipped. Triss will know what to do with this. Are we wanting to give Triss the crystal? Because I'm pretty sure you can give it to Yennefer later on. And, you know, considering what I'm going to do with Triss, um, I feel like it would be best for me to, to give it to Yennefer later on. Because, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I give it to Triss later on? Or should I just um, keep it with me for now? You guys give me a shout and I'll, I'll tell you what. But I guess we'll head back anyway, right? We're, we're pretty much we're done with this area. I think we've looted everything. Um... It doesn't look like there's much else. There is actually an Igni. Oh, it's a torch. Okay. I don't think there's anything else here. I think there are all the portals we came through when we came, like, to this place. Is there something down here? Ah, there's a chest down here. Okay. Oh, and a little sack. I think that's it, though. I don't think there's anything else around here. There's another doorway, but I remember it being blocked. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a chest. Nice. Well, I think we've got everything in here. We'll head back. Um, apart from there is something there. Some mushrooms we don't need. Okay. Right. We'll, we'll just head the, all the way back now. We could probably bring the uh, the witch hunter with us, right? For God's sake. I'm really disorientated now. <laughs> okay. I think this is the right way, though. Is he in here? Oh, no. he's He's gone back. He's decided to leave. Okay. Keep heading back. He might be up here, actually. I could have been wrong. I don't see him anywhere. See? I saw something. Oh, okay. It's the, the ignite thing. We'll carry on, then. Okay. We're almost out, I think. I think this is the, the, the bit that we come out on, right? It's another torch. Through. You should have gone after him. Oh, come on, dude. You're I saved alive. you. 
find anything. Should we just tell them? Yeah. Should we say none of your business, just for Radovid? Not your concern. Wrong there, friend. I serve the king. Everything that concerns him's my concern as well. Hand it over, whatever you found. We'll see the king gets it. Forgetting yourself. Save your orders for your men. As you wish. Grab him! You can try, lads. See, that's what happens. See, guys, killing witch hunters, the, this, this, it's the little things, you know? I didn't mean to drink the potion, I actually mean not my controller, but you know what, it's fine. Okay, well, we dealt with the witch hunters. Oh, they got Dimeritium Shackles, that's always good. Don't really need the black... Why has he got a black magic doll? I've got no idea. Maybe he was a secret, um, a closet mage. Okay. So we got to tell Triss about the Megascope. I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to wait to see. I think for now, I want to get the next thing for the cat gear. Not which contracts. It's that one. So we need to explore the ruins of Drahim Castle. Is it quite close? No, it seems like it's ages away. Okay. Is there a, there is a marker here, so we can just quickly grab that to get there. Okay, I think, I swear we've already been there. Or maybe I did a video on Drahim Castle. Oh, is that the place with the, um... Hang on, I think, yeah, we have been here. It's the place with the, the Noonwraith quest, right? Or something. Oh, it's these guys again. Okay. We'll wait till daytime just so we can make sure we can see everything. Um, there we go. Oh, lovely. Right. Well, we'll deal with the uh, the armor real quick. We got we got some repair kits. Okay. So we had a pipe. We had some silk, which is always good to have. We had some dwarven spirit. We had a shirt, which is good for armor. I think we already have one on us, but it's, we'll keep it anyway. Um, I think the quest for it is later on. Sorry, I mean, I guess we could do it now. I'm not sure what the quest is. Have we already done the quest now I think about it? It's very possible we've already done the contract for this place. Hang on. That was actually loads of stuff in there. That was absolutely loads of stuff. I, I didn't even sort of register how much that was. Okay, well, we got the last cat journal. We'll have give it a read. Prince Adrian's journal. Kian performed wonderfully. Sorry. It's a shame, of course, that Professor Glogger disappeared somewhere in the ruins of Aced Tyre, along with the rest of the elven diagrams. With those sketches for a steel sword alone, um, but those sketches for a steel sword alone are worth as much as a village in southern Redania. We split the takings equally. As per our agreement, I kept the diagram for the silver sword, while Kian took the crossbow diagram. I must admit, I didn't need every member of the expedition's head preserved in vinegar, but they do constitute impressive proof of Kian's conscientious conscientious and professionalism. The witcher swore none of the archaeologists would leave Ace Tyre alive, and none did. All the more shame then all the more shame then that Kian didn't accept my offer off my offer as my personal bodyguard. He would never have wanted for a thing. Steady pay, caviar, strawberries for breakfast, lobster for lunch, daily baths, a court surgeon, and courtesans of both sexes for all of his needs and if he still lacked anything he had but to knock on my chamber door he must be he must very much love all that trudging around the world because i do not believe jacob of denbich could have dangled a better offer than i did really now jacob of denbich a second-rate captain transporting halls to dockside novigrad pimps for a fistful of crowns. With any luck, sooner or later a storm will sink that leaky tub of his and Kian will return to me tail between his legs. Illegible scribbling, scrubbed, illegible waxing, illegible, 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 blade oil, illegible devil's puffball, illegible con contortions, ink visibly fresher than previous entries many years must have passed. I, I have heard the flying deer, the vessel on which Kian was sailing, wrecked off coast of Grassy Knoll. Was it my curse? Hmm. Not bad for a beginner. Perhaps I should think about enrolling at Bannard. Oh, so he tried to curse Kian because he was mad. I see. 
Well, it sort of it pieces together the whole story, which is quite good. You know, I like that. Well, we have all the cat st school stuff now, so I guess we can go and get the armor sorted out. I think we can actually make armor in Oxenfurt as well, someone mentioned. So maybe we'll have a quick look around there. We'll just go to Oxenfurt because I know I can make the swords there. I guess we can make the armor there too. While I'm here, I may as well do the contract, which I think is here. Unless I've already done it. I might have already done it. I may as well get all this stuff too, you know. I need to restore some health. I think I have restoring during the day, right? I think it's around here we've got to go. Yeah, see, the this... The trail leads to the cellar. White Lady or something, this, this quest is called, right? Let's have a look. Yeah, there you go. We may as well just quickly do this. It shouldn't take long. I guess we'll have our potion just to make sure we don't instantly die. We'll follow the blood, quickly finish up this contract, you know? Just while we're here, it means we don't have to come back. Okay. Ghouls dragged the body downstairs, but it wasn't their kill. Skin's unnaturally pale. Cracked. Hmm. Something happening? I don't think there's anything else. Investigate the ruined tower, so I guess we have to investigate the rest of it too. Oh, we've just been all around it. Oh, wow. That was a bloody amazing little thing. God, I got some more dimerutium. I'm gonna make a quick save just because I, I when when the, when the eerie music kicks in, it's kind of like you know stuff. Oh my god, that barrel had so much in too. Ah, here we go. Deep uneven tracks. Superior moon dust. Someone fled blindly in a panic. I guess we'll follow the tracks. Am I am I missing them? I've got no idea where these tracks have gone. Ah, there we go. Just keep following them. We'll do this contract. Why not? It is a bit higher level than all the quests we're doing at the moment, but I think it's better to do it than not. Pale skin, but no blood loss. This is no vampire. You can kind of tell what it is based on the quest name, but... Bodies dried to a crisp. Signs of burns. Noonwraith did this. There we go. Whatever he saw just before he died gave him quite a scare. All signs point to a noon wraith. She's avoiding me. Better find something that belonged to her. She'll have to show then. Okay. Talk to the widow about the noon wraith. Will do. So pale if you ate onions and Not that far away anyway. Oh, that's Novigrad over there. We're actually way closer to Novigrad than I thought. Okay, well... I'll just finish this contract, then I'll make the cat armor, then I'll end. You know, I feel like that's good enough. Hello. Greetings. Maybe Richard. I'll do something else. I've got quite a bit of time. Hear about, Hear about the notice. The white lady. As I hoped. I notice has been hanging so long, sun's near bleached it blank. Seems your white lady's a noon wraith. That means God's poor Lucy. <laughs> Lucy. She was gonna marry, right? Yeah. Her parents swore her to a smith from the city. Well to do, sure. Older and more brittle than elven ruins. Lucy ran from the altar out into the fields. Where she slashed her veins. Used the silver dagger she'd gotten for the betrothal. Wait. Let me show you. <coughs> Lucy's parents couldn't bear to sell it. Bury it, Eaton. They left it in my care. I want to send her away, but I've got to bring her close, lure her first. I need an object that belonged to her. Dagger would be perfect. Take it, but kill Lucy. Promise me. She shouldn't suffer no more. Pay me. Greetings, Sorry, I'm joking. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm joking. This really reminds me of the Witcher one. Like, the, do you remember the quest with the um the Noon Wraith? I can't remember what it was where her sister killed her and we had to do like that song with Dandelion. Can't remember the name of the quest. Such a long time ago now. But you know what? That was a good little quest. Uh, um, it, it's very similar to this. I think we even had a dagger in the other one now I think about it. There was definitely a Noon Wraith and a dagger in that game. I remember that exactly. Okay. Let's have a look here. So, I guess, I guess we'll just do this. We have Moondust Bombs equipped, so we should be fine. Let's 
Let's dance. Oh, God damn it. Hang on. God, this is another loud fight, guys. Hang on. Is this where they get the three things? Don't want to deal with that, to be honest. Okay. I think she got still hit by the moon dust, so. Okay. Thank you, Tree. I think you may have helped me a bit there, but it's fine. You know what? We still killed the Noon Wraith, and it was all us. What does the Noon Wraith head give us, actually? Oh, we've got so many shirts. I didn't even realize how many we picked up. Um, it's in here, right? Okay, here we go. So we have the Noon Wraith head. 5% yeah, experience from humans and non-humans. Oh. Oh, we already have that equipped. Okay, cool. Maybe we'll go and put it in our stash. How much um, weight are we carrying at the moment? We've got 162 out of 220. We've got quite a lot of spare weight. And I guess when we make this armor, it might really fill it up. So maybe it'd be good to put some of this stuff in the stash. I probably need more carry weight. But you know what? I think we're fine. We should be fine. I think the cat armor might actually reduce our carry weight a bit. Um, I'll have to check that, though. We'll see. Regardless, we should be able to carry all of it at the moment. Did it. Problem solved. You can go back to your fields. Thank you. Your coin. And may fortune smile upon you. Thank you. Contract appreciated. What are we going to get? I want to see what we get, you know? We got some experience, which all is oh, good. And we got right. how much money? We got barely any money. Nice. I guess maybe we, we aren't allowed to, like, negotiate that one. There must be something to do with that. Um, I guess the next quest we want to be doing is that or the roach one when we come back next time. I just want to get it set up for next time, you know what I mean? An eye for an eye. I guess that would be good to do. Maybe maybe that's what we'll do when we come back next time. Right, for now though, I'm going to go and um, sort out this armor. You guys will see me obviously do that. I'm going to go to Oxford. I'm going to try and find the armorsmith and the swordsmith because apparently I can make them both there. Uh, maybe maybe I can even make them at the same guy. I don't think I can. I may as well go to him first though, right? Oh, hello, Elf. All will be fine. Nice. So, Oxenfurt. I'm looking forward to making the cat armor, guys. I think it's going to be quite cool to um, be able to, you know, wear, wear other armor, you know? And also, we're traveling to Oxenfurt, so we're pretty close anyway, so it's actually not that bad at all. Okay. Hello again, mate. Yeah, we always know him. He's always so kind to us. Okay. Well, i got to work out where the smith is. I'm not sure where the other one is. I can get to one of them pretty easily. Oh, oh, is it over here? I can see an armorsmith table. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Is this it? No. Ah, this is the armorsmith. Oh, nice, okay then. Greetings again. Hello again, friend. I'd like you to craft something for me. You're in luck. I actually do have a special order for you. Oh, that's fantastic. Cool, I think we've already checked. Okay, special order. So, first things first, feline boots. Boom. Next thing, feline armor. Boom. Next thing, uh, feline gauntlets. Boom. Next thing, feline trousers. Boom. Thank you. We will wear all of that in a moment, guys. First things first, I think we still gotta make the swords. Uh, God damn it. We gotta make the swords. That is so. That just debates me so hard. Okay. I think the swordsmith should be down here somewhere, right? That's the academy. And we can't actually go in there. I think it's... Is it down here somewhere? I think it's down here then right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we found it. It's on the very outskirts. Hello. Craft me something. Okay. Crossbow. Bloody hell. We can actually make that. We don't really need it right now, though. I guess, I guess we won't bother. Um, feline silver sword. 
Now we need a feline steel sword. Tell you what, if we just have to buy the wax, maybe I will make it. Ah, oh, fine. Why not? Okay, full feline stuff is made. We can't actually use the crossbow yet, but you know what? At least we have the crossbow on us for later. Let's put it on. So we have feline silver sword, feline steel sword, feline armor, feline armor, feline armor, feline armor. Oh, Geralt, mate, you're looking sharp. You look a little bit weird. You're wearing like a like a Witcher tank top. I love it. Okay. Okay, it's fine. I quite like it. I like the feline armor. It's, you know, it's, it's definitely more city. You know, it's, it feels like a more of a city armor. You know, Geralt's just going around the city now. He's no longer in his griffin mode. He's in he's in cat mode. Okay, well, that's that's nice. I like that. You know, I'm just checking uh, what level enhanced griffin requires. 18. Okay, so next level we can get the enhanced griffin. Okay. Right, guys, well, I think I'm going to end today's Witcher 3 part there. I've done a bit of a longer one, at least than last time, like almost 50 minutes longer than the last part, which was definitely shorter. But you know what? I've had a cool time. I'm glad to bring these videos to you guys. I hope you've all enjoyed it. It's been really fun to do. You know, this guy's just interrupting me. It's awesome. I haven't done an outro in, like, a video for such a long time, so it's so weird for me to, like, say stuff. It feels odd. But, you know, as always, if you enjoy the video, want to see more, just want to support me, I'd really appreciate you liking it, as it just helps me out so much. If you're new to the channel and this is the first video of finding which I really doubt be sure to subscribe all that stuff follow me on Twitter be sure to go and follow me on Twitch because I plan to do a lot of story based games on there recently or soon at least um, it's Falchion Falchion X Falchion X which should be in the description of the video I changed the name I hope some of you guys didn't get confused by that but I plan to do some Bioshock on there I want to do some God of War I'd like to maybe do some Dark Souls again I'd like to bring back Red Dead Redemption 2 on there maybe as well Bloodborne all these different games so if you want to go and follow me on there just so you don't miss any of that i'd really appreciate it and finally as always a big thank you to the patreon pledges you guys have genuinely helped me out so much and it's just it's it's so kind what you've done i haven't i didn't realize that you could actually pause patreon to be honest i only found out very very recently and i will admit that i did find out very recently and in future i will but for those of you that decided to remain my patreon despite the fact that i said you know i'm taking a break and stuff i really appreciate that maybe in future i'll just say look if you want to support me you can support me when i'm not doing stuff too and it's up to you you know you're making the decision whether or not you want to donate to me so I just want to say thank you to all of you that have continued to support me despite the fact that I haven't really been able to make videos for the past month but I'm back now and I'll be doing more videos soon I plan to do a lore video soon it's gonna be really cool so thank you all for watching anyway and I'll see you all in the next video um yeah have an awesome rest of the week guys I'll give you a lovely view of Geralt right see you later